Uh, down here, I am <laughs> hiding from missiles, from Russian missiles. Yeah. I went to my work and then I heard about missiles sitting at home the downtown and I was on my way back home to check up on my apartment, if it's okay, if it's not destroyed. Well, it's not the first missile suffer, it's not the first experience I have actually from Logan's region and I witnessed uh, 2014, so um, it's okay for me. I mean, it's, it's not okay actually, but I get used to I was surprised, yes, but we were expecting this after the Crimean bridge, so it's not so unexpected for us. Well, I am going to sleep in a shelter actually <laughs> because I'm not sure it's gonna be safe tonight and I think maybe from Belarus it's gonna be uh, another attack on Kiev, so... And how about your family? Do you have any... I have family that they are located on the occupation side of Ukraine, occupied side of Ukraine. So where, where are you from originally? Uh, Severodonetsk. Yes, so I am in contact, we keep in touch, like uh, one day a week, Sundays, they go to their friend's home where they have internet connection, they call me, so we have the ability to, to chat, to talk, yeah. I feel frustrated and devastated for people who lost their lives and for their families, but I think we're going to be fine and stay strong.